think they have the name on their mind. And then here's the D's in range. Sorry for waiting. Is the not what? Yeah. No, you need a link from email. No, okay. Yeah, you. So next week I will talk about uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, talk about what's the problem with that. Uh, let, let me more from my. Uh, oh, maybe my my microphone has some. Yeah, no problem. Good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, can you check that it's working or not? Um, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. Uh, uh, you uh, need to send me as a presenter, Oscar. Uh, it's in the Teams. In files, there's a folder with my name in it, and it has both presentations in it. No, no, no. You mean, I mean, set me as presenter. Oh. OK, I'm going to be able to do this person. Yeah, it's great. The banner is great. Okay, you can present. Now we can. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining our uh, meeting. Uh, my name is Ife Yu, and uh, uh, I'm an uh, assistant professor of research uh, at, in the math department at the University of Texas at Arlington. And uh, I was Dr. Liu's uh, PhD student. Uh, I feel very happy to share some of my idea with you today. Uh, the topic of my presentation is uh, compression of UTEX and other methods based on uh, four typical vortex models. Uh, the, the outline of my presentation is shown on the screen. Uh, it contains four uh, main sections. The first one, I will explain uh, why this is the rigid rotation, and then I am going to introduce four uh, typical vortex model. Then based on the model, uh, we will do the compare comparison, and we will uh, do a summary uh, at the end. So our motivation to do this job is um, some feedback from from the audience or from other users is uh, they feel like the figures uh, created by generated by Lutex or some other method looks similar, and uh, they do not see the necessity to I mean use a new method. Uh, so we we want to use these examples to show what is the difference. What is the difference between Lutex and the other method? And uh, what is the uh, merit of using Lutex? Uh, the reason that I choose these four uh, vortex models uh, is they have analytical solution, and the people have uh, deep understanding 
uh, of these four models. So it, it's not difficult to judge uh, which method is better, which method is worse. Uh, that's the motivation for of doing this job. Uh, okay, so let's go to the first part. Why Lutex is uh, rigid rotation? Uh, uh, I list the definition of Lutex on this slide. Uh, I think Dr. Liu has uh, carefully explained this definition. Uh, usually, uh, from the feedback of other uh, our collaborators or other researchers, Usually, they, they feel like it's easy to understand why the rotation axis is the eigenvector of the velocity gradient. Uh, the rotational axis comes from the idea that a local fluid uh, axis can only have stretching or compressing along its length. Right? If we translate, express, if we express this sentence in uh, mathematical language, that will lead to uh, dv is equal to gradient v dot product r and uh, along the same direction means uh, it's a alpha uh, multiple uh, uh, a constant times r so this uh, equation uh, directly implies that r is the eigen vector of the velocity gradient tensor so so this part is uh, very clear and uh, usually people the, the people have question about why the magnitude is, is the rigid rotation. Uh, so we can uh, go back to what is the rigid rotation. So rigid rotation is the rotation done by an ideal rigid object. So here we can suppose uh, the, the simplest uh, rigid rotation, fixed point rotation. So we can suppose uh, some object is doing a uh, fixed angular speed fixed point rotation. So the rotational uh, speed is, uh, yeah, is, is, is proportional to the radius. It's r over 2 times r. So the, the capital R is Lutex magnitude. So we, we, we claim that uh, Lutex is uh, twice angular speed. So here I use half Lutex uh, magnitude as the angular speed. And if we rewrite this uh, velocity uh, field in Cartesian coordinate, we get the u is uh, negative r over capital R over 2y and v is capital R over 2x, while w is zero. And uh, we calculate this velocity gradient tensor. We, we, we get this tensor. So uh, one point cannot have rotation, right? So rotation is actually a spatial related uh, concept. And the spatial related concept, we, we, it can be described or be evaluated by spatial derivative. So that's the uh, why we uh, pay attention to the velocity gradient. Velocity gradient is the spatial derivative. Right? It contains all information about the spatial derivatives. So, if we look at the, this uh, velocity gradient tensor of uh, rigid rotation, so you will find the features, typical features of the velocity gradient tensor that describe rigid rotation. The feature is uh, this, uh, I mean, if it rotates along z-axis, then these two, the entries, the value of the entries on these two Positions should should be opposite to each other, right? And the, the 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 value represents the angular speed, right? So that's the feature, and all other uh, entries uh, should be zero. So 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 that that's a, a key feature for the uh, velocity gradient tensor that describe uh, rigid rotation. And uh, any translation motion uh, does not uh, will not influence the velocity gradient tensor as well. Well, the translation speed you take part, uh, spatial derivative they will they will vanish. So translation will not uh, influence the uh, influence the velocity gradient tensor. So we can extend our fixed point rotation to any any rotation, and. Uh, and the idea uh, rigid object does not have shear, so shear is not 
uh, considered here. And what else can influence the uh, velocity gradient tensor? A stretching can, stretching, any deformation can. Uh, so, so next we find what is the features for the velocity gradient tensor that describes uh, pure stretching. So, uh, key features for 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 pure stretching is uh, it can only have diagonal uh, entries, right? So uh, the 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 matrix shown here is the uh, stretching along a wide direction. So for a general situation, uh, you can have uh, entries on the diagonal, and the other entries must be zero. That's uh, pure stretching. And uh, another types of uh, deformation can also influence the uh, velocity gradient tensor. That's, that's sure. That's, that's sure. <laughs> so what is the key feature for the shear matrix? Uh, so the, the key feature is the diagonal elements should be zero, right? If it has uh, elements, that's part of stretching. And also, also, uh, I mean, one of one of uh, partial u over partial y and the partial v over partial s should be zero. So we, we have three pairs. The uh, these three pairs, one of them should be zero. Well, if it's not zero, okay. If uh, they are both not zero, uh, let's see what would happen. Okay, suppose suppose we have uh, a matrix. Uh, well, these two entries are both non-zero. So we can further uh, decompose it to a rotation and a shear. Okay, if if they are their signs are different, and if their signs are the same, we can further decompose it to a symmetric deformation and a shear. So so they will not be a pure shear. And uh, uh, symmetric uh, deformation can be transformed to a stretching or compression format if we choose a proper coordinate system. I mean, so the the, the relation uh, between uh, uh, the velocity gradient tensor in different coordinate system is you can times a, a rotational matrix, right? By doing that, we can make these uh, symmetric entries go to the di uh, diagonal entries. So, so that's why one of them must be uh, zero. Okay, then the next thing is to how to decompose the uh, velocity gradient tensor. Um, so the in, in for the fluid, the velocity gradient tensor we see is coupled with uh, rotation with uh, Share with stretching, so we need to decompose it into the three parts. And uh, uh, the expression of the uh, velocity gradient tensor is different in different coordinate uh, systems, even for the same 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 case. So so there should be a, a uniform stand or a uniform base for us to talk about the uh, way to do the decomposition. And uh, the simplest. Uh, simplest form uh, is the sh uh, shear triangulation. Shear triangulation. What is shear triangulation? Shear triangulation uh, says if A is an n by n complex matrix, then A can be expressed as A times Q times L times uh, Q inverse, where Q is a, a unitary matrix. And the unitary matrix is also a rotation matrix. So and uh, rotation matrix. So, so that that describes if if we rotate the coordinate, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so, so shear triangulation uh, says uh, if we rotate the uh, rotate the coordinate system, what would A be? And uh, A can be a lower tri triangular matrix. Uh, that that's the that that's shear triangulation says. So when it comes to the real uh, real number field, right? When if we restrict the, our discussion to the real number field, and we let n be three because our world is three dimensional. 
So the, the, the theorem of sure uh, tribulation mm -hmm. becomes uh, if A is a three by three real matrix, then uh, A can be expressed as A is equal to QL, Q inverse. Uh, where L could either be a lower triangular matrix or uh, or in this form. So the, the, the cross means it has non-zero uh, entries and these two entries must be zero. So, so, so by doing the uh, sure triangulation, any types of whatever your velocity gradient tensor is, it can always become either the lower triangle format or this format uh, if we choose a proper coordinate system. And for these types of uh, format, uh, it has three real, real eigenvalues and uh, there is no rotation in this format. Uh, and uh, for this format, it has a uh, complex, conjugate complex eigenvalues and the ro rotation exists. So, so we, 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 uh, we have proven that, uh, uh, that in the, in the proper uh, coordinate system, the, the velocity gradient tensor can always be written in this format. So the, the diagonals are the real part of the complex eigenvalue, uh, uh, real part of the complex eigenvalue, and this is the real eigenvalue, and uh, the one two position, partial u over partial y position is negative r over two, and uh, this position is r over two plus epsilon. Then we can uh, do our decomposition. We, we can decompose it into rotation part, shear part, and the stretching part. And the obviously the rotation part is the lutex uh, negative r over two and the r over two, and the and the, it represents the angular speed. And the the, the other two parts are shear and the stretching. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, then we we introduced the uh, uh, four typical uh, vortex models. Uh, so we, we start from the potential for, uh, vortex. Uh, a potential vortex is also called a uh, free vortex or e-rotational vortex. Here the e-rotational uh, literally means uh, uh, the volatility is zero. It's, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, this figure shows the uh, is the illustration of this uh, vortex. Uh, and the uh, velocity field uh, in the polar uh, coordinate system is is uh, gamma over two pi r, and the vi is zero. Uh, gamma is the circulation, uh, which can be evaluated by two pi r times v. Mm. Well. It should be noted uh, that in the potential vortex, vortex is zero and the volatility is zero. And if you uh, calculate other uh, vortex identity methods, their values are also zero. So, so, but but we do see the the, the curvature of the flow, the string line. It, it it's a circle. So so the 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 the, re, uh, the explanation is a fluid element may travel. On a circular streamline, but uh, not revolve about its own center of gravity at it uh, moves. So, so for the potential vortex, uh, the orbit or the streamline is a circle, but the uh, fluid particle itself does not rotate, uh, revolve around its it, it itself. Okay. Um, and uh, we, uh, the potential vortex is, uh, is not a, I mean, a real exist vortex because when uh, R approach to zero, the uh, rotational velocity will go to infinity. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's not, uh, the, it does not match the real world. So we need some improved models. Uh, one model is the uh, ranking model. So the, the outstanding unreasonable point of uh, potential vortex is, is 
it's near the center of the uh, rotate uh, vortex. Uh, so ranking assumes uh, the center is doing rigid rotation. So he, he just let the uh, uh, one where R is, he gives a number where R is less than or equal to A, then the fluid is doing uh, rigid rotation. <coughs> so it has uh, this format of the uh, velocity distribution. One R is less than or equal to A, it's rigid rotation. One R is greater than A, it's still a potential uh, vertex. Mm. Uh, in this uh, model, A is regarded as the radiance of what I call uh, because um, because when uh, one R is less than A, the the uh, fluid elements ro rotate around itself, and one uh, R greater than A is potential flow, and potential flow only the orbit. Orbitary is is a circle, uh, it, but uh, fluid particle does not revolve around itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, ranking what has to assume the flow is uh, existed. Uh, on a solution of NS equation. Uh, and in our real world, uh, there are always this uh, viscosity. We need to take. The initial condition uh, being a, a potential flow. Uh, <coughs> the solution is it's strong on screen. It, it's that this uh, velocity field and the, the distribution is strong. Uh, we, 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 we can see one, one R is small, one near the uh, vortex center, which is distributing of uh, rigid body rotation. So, so within the center, it's, it's some kind of like the rigid rotation uh, for the land ocean vortex. And uh, some conclusion about the lambda ocean vortex. So first one, when t is zero or nu is zero, the lambda ocean vortex becomes potential flow. Right? If you plug in t b zero or nu b zero, the velocity distribution becomes this one, and the, which is the distribution of uh, potential vortex. And the one r square is uh, much larger than for nu t. The lambda ocean vortex is like potential vortex because when this this uh, term approach to infinity, uh, oh, one R square much greater than four new T, this term approach to infinity and then this term approach to zero. So the velocity approach to uh, gamma naught over two pi R. And uh, the third, one R is more, uh, the, the, v uh, the velocity is like the velocity of rigid rotation. Mm, because when uh, R is small, this, this term is uh, 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 approach to R squared over from, for new T, and thus the, the <coughs> V theta is approximately uh, gamma, uh, gamma zero over eight pi new T times R. Uh, it is proportional to R. Okay, so, mm, so so we, we, we can get this conclusion. Uh, Lamb ocean mm. vortex approximately does rigid rotation where R is small and the uh, uh, potential vortex where R is is large. So the vortex uh, vortex uh, vortex boundary can be can be evaluated by the uh, R max. <coughs> So uh, the lambda ocean vortex can have a, another form. This form use includes v max and the r max to 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 describe the uh, distribution of rotational velocity. So usually people believe the uh, or or it's, it is reasonable to think the vortex boundary is the r max. R max. So we 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 will compare uh, using different methods to see. 
which one matches this this uh, result. And uh, uh, further next, the 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 Taylor vortex. Uh, Taylor vortex is also the solution of Navier Stokes equation. And uh, uh, Taylor vortex is some kind like like the uh, Lamb ocean vortex. Uh, it's uh, velocity uh, exp uh, expression is here, and uh, you can see the uh, graph of the rotational axis is 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 similar to that of the uh, Lamb ocean vortex. Vortex. Still, when i is small, it's like a rigid rotation. When i is <coughs> big, it's like a, a potential vortex. And uh, with the rotational uh, velocity, will reach uh, maximum at uh, r naught uh, equals to square root of two new t. <coughs> so this number will be uh, considered as the boundary of the vortex core. And the Burgess vortex, the, the the previous several vortex models are all 2D, and uh, we we inc include one 3D vortex model, the Burgess vortex. Uh, its uh, its velocity uh, is drawn here, and uh, we also uh, assume the maximum point, the the location where reaches the maximum uh, is the boundary of the uh, of the vortex code. And we can <laughs> see the result. Uh, first, we can we can view the this question uh, theoretically, analytically. Well, in the principal coordinate, it, it is also a uh, oh sorry in the uh, yeah in the principal coordinate we have the velocity gradient tensor. The, it it is also a velocity gradient tensor, and uh, we can calculate Q O lambda C R and uh, vorticity based on this uh, velocity gradient tensor. And uh, you can get the relation uh, uh, between Q and the uh, Lutex like this, and uh, lambda C and the uh, has this relation. Uh, the magnitude of what is T and the uh, Lutex has this rotation. So, so directly look at the expression. We find lambda C would be the best because it only contains one con contamination. Right? If Lutex is the correct one, then uh, lambda C contains the least contamination. Okay, then we uh, look at the result, comparison result. So we, we first compare the uh, potential vortex. I set the gamma B1, and uh, uh, this figure shows the velocity distribution uh, along the x axis. And this figure is the uh, what is the distribution along the x axis? Uh, I, I would like to mention that this is 10 to the negative 16, so it can be considered as zero. It's a round of error. Hmm? It's a round of error. Yeah, 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 there, yeah, and they should be zero because potential vortex people call it irrotational vortex. So, so, so being zero is is reasonable. And uh, also, we can calculate Q. Uh, and the uh, two lambda ci. Uh, well, we, we we look at the q. Q has near the center. Q q q is not reliable because it goes down 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 down. down. Uh, oh, oh no no, it's also uh, oh my bad. It should be also reliable because when q is less than zero, we we consider it's it's irrotational. Yeah. So I yeah because this is a very uh simple. Uh, what has model? Uh, I think all the method uh, performs uh, not bad, and also the Lutex Lutex is like the lambda C is a straight straight uh, zero. Yeah, th th uh, this conclusion may be wrong. Yeah, because when Q is smaller than zero, it's, it also indicates uh, no rotation. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. Uh, and the uh, next. Uh, ranking what has I set a b one and uh, the r b six. Uh, we have this uh, velocity distribution, and the ranking assumes the within the uh, vortex center is rigid rotation. So for rigid rotation, all the method uh, can get the, the 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 good result. So this is the vorticity. So there is a jump, right? There is jump. Outside is potential. Potential is zero. Uh, no rotation and uh, in, inside the it's a uh, rigid rotation, so it's 
and the angular speed is six, so it's correct. It's six. Also, this is Q. Q. Uh, well, if you consider below zero is zero, then Q also also not bad. And uh, lambda C are also good. Uh, and the uh, lutex good as well. And uh, uh, I I also calculate their uh, rotation period. So uh, well uh, because lutex is considered as the angular speed. So two pi over angular speed will be the rotation period. Uh, for for this simple case, we find only 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 Q is lower. Only Q is lower, but uh, uh, yeah, only Q is lower, but maybe because uh, uh, I, oh, yeah, it should be lower because Q has a problem of the dimension. So if you uh, look at the look at the expression uh, here, Q is R square, R square, and the others lambda C is if you take the square root, it's R. Right. If you look at the uh, dimension, also uh, for the vorticity is r square, but we take square root, so it's also on the dimension of r. So, so uh, the the rotation uh, period of q can be different. Uh, next is the uh, lamb lamb ocean vortex. Uh, I let the r max be 0.3 and the V max B1. So the uh, bound vortex boundary should be 0.3. And the, this figure shows the uh, velocity distribution. This is the counter, counter of the uh, velocity distribution. Then we can see the distribution of vorticity. So the, the red line indicates the boundary, boundary of the vorticity uh, code. And uh, the, the left is the uh, is the data uh, along the x axis along the x axis, and the, these two black lines are the boundary boundary of the vortex core. So you can see outside the vortex core, uh, <coughs> vorticity still has some place non-zero, right? Still has some place non-zero. So that that <laughs> that does not match the uh, fact, and uh, we can look at Q. Q uh, is better than what is it? Uh, we can see, or we can consider it uh, reflects the fact because there's no visible difference. So these two black lines are also the re represent the boundary. What has called boundary? So Q. Uh, we we cannot see any uh, visible difference, and uh, this is two lambda ci. Also, we don't see any visible difference, and uh, has, of course, no visible difference. So so uh, so from this uh, uh, example, we we can get the conclusion that vorticity is the first one that's not reliable. And uh, that is the reason. What is it, that is the reason that people develop some other method. Of, well, if what is it is perfect, mm -hmm. there is no need for people to develop Q or lambda CI. Okay. Uh, so uh, for detecting, if we uh, for detecting the uh, boundary, you may consider uh, Q and the lambda CI is similar are similar to the uh, but we can also con compare their rotation period. Uh, it's, it, it's, uh, it, it is uh, evaluated by uh, 2 pi r, uh, two, uh, sorry, 2 pi over over the, uh, two, 2 pi over r over 2. So, so each, each method I consider, they are the twice angular speed. So I use 2 pi over the value of the me each method over 2, and I get uh, this figure. Uh, Lutex is on the top. On the top means uh, the angular speed is the smallest. Smallest uh, because Lutex removes the shear contamination from from 
from other method. Some other method may consider uh, shear as as rotation, so it has a uh, large value. And uh, when the large value on the denominator, the the, the fraction becomes yes yeah, smaller. So the other method is lower than than Lutex. So so we can see the difference. And uh, uh, the result for Tyler vortex, uh, I let new equals to T equal to one and let H be 20. Uh, again, this figure shows the uh, velocity distribution. This is the contour of the <coughs> velocity. Uh, then, vorticity. Well, still we see the uh, vorticity is not reliable because outside the boundary, vorticity has obvious non-zero uh, positions. And uh, and the Q, well, Q for Q, no visible difference. And uh, uh, lambda CI is the same, and uh, Lewis has the same. And, uh, we we see the period. We can also see the difference. So 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 we can say uh, the second generation Q and the lambda CI is is a good improvement uh, compared with uh, vorticity. Uh, and uh, and uh, Yeah, but uh, they are still not exactly as Lutex. They have some difference uh, with Lutex. And uh, let's see Burgess what is. Uh, I let alpha be one, nu be 0.5, and uh, tau be uh, a gamma be 50. Uh, and uh, since uh, Burgess is a 3D, so I choose the slice where z is zero point. Um, again, the velocity distribution, the counter of velocity. I guess you are more interested in in, in comparing the method. So uh, the 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 orange line is the velocity uh, velocity distribution. So the the maximum which is here, I add these two black lines to show the boundary. So again, what you see shows obvious uh, not mesh positions. And this time Q Q Q. Q shows the uh, incorrectness. So these two black lines are the boundary, but Q reaches boundary, uh, reaches zero, much, much less than the, the expected vortex boundary. So Q becomes zero at here and here. It, it should be here. And uh, well, uh, lambda C, I think, is the closest to, to Lutex. It, it, it also performs well for this case. So no visible uh, difference, and uh, new text also the same, no visible difference. Uh, we look at the uh, <coughs> the rotation period. We still can observe the the the, the difference. So uh, I give my summary. So uh, new text is the only method that reflects visual rotation, mm -hmm. and uh, through the comparison. It, it, it's just uh, qualitative, uh, quant uh, qualitatively, uh, you may think uh, Lutex is similar to other methods, but if if we, 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 we do research, dive into quantitatively, you will find they are different. And uh, and uh, I mean, to do engineering, you can qualitatively, but when we do science, the, the more accurate, the, the better. So, so Lutex should be used when doing science. Uh, and some references, and uh, thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah. I have a question in yeah. terms of computational cost. I mean, this is a very simple uh, example. Uh -huh. But if you want to adapt that, for example, we talked before that on some big scale models, or LES, or mm -hmm. stuff like that, mm -hmm. then this is a production code. And you have to repeat that calculation again and again and again. Mm -hmm. So can you give us indication for how long compared latex is to I don't know Q calculation or is it um, Well, I think yeah, uh, it uh, consumes more uh, more CPU time. Uh, it needs more calculation than other methods. Uh, the the reason comes from calculating the eigenvector. 
for uh, mm -hmm. I think eigenvector consumes some some uh, needs some calculation more calculation and for the magnitude we have uh, explicit formula just one 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 step you get it yeah yeah I think it comes from uh, it may so well if we use uh, Gaussian elimination to find the the, the well, eigenvector. The, so, the eigenvector is only for a three by three matrix. Yeah, yeah. So it's oh, not a big three by three matrix. Yeah. It's so it's not a not a yeah. big matrix. Yeah. So. It's not like the finite element method where you have to solve the system for the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. It's just one three by three for each. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it needs more calculation, but not much. Yeah. More. It's it, the 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 matrices are so small that if you're using any Numerical linear algebra solver you just should do. Just he published the, I think, uh, Python and uh, uh, yeah, NetLab code ah, yeah, for the new text. Yeah, they, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 just, I'm not thinking about post the, the partial partial post yeah. 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 I'm thinking yeah. about if you adapt it to a product. It's just around that point. Right, right. That's around that's how yeah. it and then, then it starts the human. I don't ah, think okay. A, yes, I a, think uh, Emera will resolve this. Scale model. Uh, like to use this uh, model for some scale. Uh, model. Model. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's it's like we have some job on that. Maybe Emera will uh, report. Find, uh, uh, he he asked about if if uh, we include the the, the new text into the pro product model. Thing. If you find the largest, yeah. then normalize For example, to subscreen model, to determine its model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do it every time. Yeah, every yeah time we we well, we I think we we have some work on on the yeah with subscreen. That's a lot of very complicated. Yeah, some 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 preliminary work. So so that's done by Doctor Wang's group. So I want this one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Eh? Uh, Why I can also? Uh, yeah, it's working. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Emerald yeah, will okay, report okay, some, some, yeah. some, something on the separate. Not very possible. Of course, there's a little more cost. Not very much. But not one. Not, not good. Good. Mm -hmm. And there's some yeah. reasons. Yeah. Not very much. Any more questions? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure uh, it's related to your uh, research or not, but um, who's a G here uh, in uh, in Etihad? ETH in uh, Switzerland uh, 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 proposed um, Lagrangian coherent structure. Uh, and uh, um, they injected particles uh, around the point. And uh, um, after uh, some time, they uh, investigated uh, the growth of the distance between the particles. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, currently, and then they uh, proposed uh, the, um, inertial manifold, and they investigated uh, the, um, the boundary mm -hmm. of the structure. Okay. And um, if you, in, um, uh, I'd like to know the relationship between the uh, edge of the uh, the mutex. Uh, it's also uh, you are talking about the edge of the. The boundary, mm -hmm. boundary mm -hmm. and the uh, relationship with uh, uh, such kind of um, the edge of the uh, Lagrangian uh, co uh, coherent structure. They um, injected um, um, particle, uh, particle. particles in the, um, using the Lyapunov, uh, oh, okay. uh, finite time Lyapunov exponent. They investigated how these particles uh, lead um. and or attract to each other. And, and by investigating the, uh, such exponent uh, aging values, they um, determine the age of the uh, manifold. Oh, and, okay. Uh, I'd like to know the relationship. Okay. The lutex structure and the manifold. Okay. The so it sounds like they are doing experiment or? Mm, yes, and um, they also looking at by, um, by using the data from uh, artificial satellite, mm. and they are looking at um, atmospheric. Uh, do do, do, do you mean when uh, like Leotex is almost zero? When you because when when Leotex is zero, there's no rotation. And you, do you by manifold do you mean ISO surface? I, I surface it. I surface it. Yeah, as I mean, the region rotation, rotation, right. rigid rotation that. Uh, the fluid elements move together, right? And uh, mm -hmm. beyond the uh, beyond uh, beyond that region, 
that means um, they they don't move together, so they, they are leading together, uh, mm, right? So uh, uh, I just w wondering uh, what is the relationship with uh, such kind of uh, leading? Yeah, no, uh, well, and then they are not exponent uh, in the uh, uh, manifold. Uh, <laughs> I think that. You would have to. I haven't. I haven't investigated it, but that sounds like you would take the lowest uh, Leutex magnitude value, and uh, you would draw the ISO surface, and it'd be because you're doing turbulent areas, it's going to be huge. But at the edges between uh, when Leutex is not zero and Leutex is zero, that change you could use. You could solve using an edge detection filter, which is just the derivative, and then uh, uh, that change. Uh, uh, I feel like you would have to investigate using like a higher resolution, uh, because it it does trace like the particle, but it's in relation with the other particles nearby. So if a particle is spinning and it's breaking off. Or, turbulent region is spinning then if it's spinning by itself it's not spinning like in relation to the other particles so you would have to like cut that particle into pieces and see how it's rotating in our opinion yeah we didn't study because we don't know yeah. second the, the new test is best on the uh, a continuous media so it is not a topic we don't know if it's good or not for the particle or, or multiphase. You talk about multiphase. Yeah. So really, we don't know. We need more, I think, a test uh, examples. Uh, but learning particle is just, uh, yeah, uh, it can be real, but it can be uh, a virtual, virtual particle. Oh, okay. just, uh, um, I mean, live, I mean, a virtual particle uh, living uh, mm -hmm. to each other. Or leading to uh, attracting to uh, yeah. some portion. Yeah, right. is this is this where like uh, the I forgot the quote Doctor Sim sent me, but it's like when vortices turn into smaller vortices and onto vorticity, like where you have infinite vortices forever mm -hmm. until the energy. Uh, the quite the whole question of so, uh, uh, major stokes is infinite. Yeah. So you can continue to talk. Let me just uh, announce the take the. You know, 30 minutes, you know, break again. Okay. Yeah, well, for the online people. So you can continue to talk to you, you know. <laughs> but then we we'll go to the next session. This is, a, you know, first session is over, and uh, because we're talking, then we only have 20 minutes, not 30 minutes. We're starting from um, 9 30, come again to we'll start another session. I think. It, and you you the same you the first to speak. Right? Yeah. We just started at nine thirty. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can keep keep talking. Yeah. It doesn't matter <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My professor from my fluids class, she said that one of the big questions is uh how does turbulent flow like disappear? I like it. Uh, that's like a big question. So vague, I can't really understand the entirety of it. But it sounds like what you're asking, like, at what point does it stop spinning and become like something else? Uh, that's so far into like physics. Like, it's, you have the particle, which is made of atoms. Okay. And then what do those atoms do? So we have found uh, some, some How do the molecules interact? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The complicated. We we compare with the small Oh, yeah, but it's more chemistry. It's done by our Okay. Some question? Right. Right. That's the high cow. We can see that it just stopped. But I think a long time ago, I looked up some major so stuff, and like the question is like, oh, we can't solve major so because like our model is as as it goes on to a new area, you can start making well, yeah, well, yeah, so yeah, and 
And like, what we do, we, we only did a like, small, small this, modification the, the from Smagonsky. What we like, do is, uh, in Smagonsky, yeah, is, is this one. Point, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. Can you say when it in five seconds it will stop? We just replace this one with Lutex. We just do this simple modification. Then, 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 I mean, it's a prelim. Work and uh, and uh, we still get new taxes like it's similar to the and that means that you should be able to isolate a lot of material that's a lot of molecules but still the French was small. I don't know. I need to know more about this. How what is it? I know what viscosity is. Thickness of the sky. Friction. Friction has to do with heat. Heat has to do with vibrations. A whole lot of stuff. The R1 means the R and X. R2 means the R and Y. R is the spoon. Does anyone want any more water? So I think it's back again. Back again. That's thermal. So now you're on the X line. Thermal. It's R1. It's R2. 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 The molecules vibrate, frequencies. Yeah, right. You can connect this card. Oh, 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 I just picked random languages. Okay, so you're already in the meeting. Yes, you're in and the meeting. My speaker would be your speaker is playing out of the television. Okay, so and I should cancel it or not? No. Uh no. Okay. Oh wait. No, you should be fine as long as long as no one talks. Okay. Uh and your mic is on, so sure, so should I yeah, keep my on. mic on? Yeah, you yes. should keep the yeah. mic on. Let so yeah. me get yeah. this on. I won't if it's something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.